um, part of Open Office Calc. Um, so the first uh, part is going to be the menu bar, which is this uh, bar up here. It has your file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, data, window, and help. Um, so um, you can go ahead and look through the drop downs, any kind of uh, cut, copy, paste. Um, you can view different toolbars in the views uh, drop down, um, as well as a lot of other things I won't get into right now. Um, you can insert rows and columns from here. Um, you can format um, your cells, your rows, your columns. Um, and then there's uh, all kinds of tools, tools for macros down here. Um, data will we'll deal with anything as far as sorting or, or filtering data. Um, and then, of course, Windows is just... Uh, like any program, same thing with help. Um, the second uh, bar is your toolbar. This is actually going to be where all your tools are. Um, cut, copy, paste, uh, format, paintbrush. Um, you've got some, at, you can add a hyperlink, some quick sorting methods right here, um, and, you know, chart and drawing functions, uh, as well as find and replace, navigator, uh, gallery, data sources, and your, you know, Zoom. Okay, uh, the the row the toolbar under that is actually your format uh, toolbar. This will allow you to format any text. Um, you can and alignment. You can also format currencies, um, add decimal places, um, indent indents, borders for your cells, and uh, background and font colors. Then the next uh, toolbar is your, going to be your uh, formula bar. It, and so this formula bar, this, the first thing you'll see here is the name box. And it'll, it'll show the name of the current selection of cells. So right now I'm, I have cell A2 selected. It's showing A2, A3, A4. If I choose a range, it'll show me that range, A2 to A5. Um, and it has a drop down. Um, I think I'm not sure why. Um, then you have your function button, your sum button, um, or your function wizard button. I'm sorry, your sum button and your function button, um, as well as your input line for your formula for your formulas. Um, and then over to the right, you'll see um, that there's also a properties. Uh, bar displayed here. Um, this is a lot of the stuff that's already in your toolbar and format bar. Um, text formatting, just a little bit easier to work with. Um, and a few more extra um, options like wrap text and text orientation. Um, you also have your cell, uh, your cell format. You can add borders and edit borders as well as your cell background. Um, you can choose to turn the grid lines on and off if you, depending on what you're doing. Uh, number formatting as well, just like up here, it has all of the. Uh, you can turn it. You can change it to a percentage, a currency, whatever, and do your dec decimal places. Just any number formatting. Um, very quick formatting, um, and then obviously the uh, one of the most important uh, parts of this is your um, actual spreadsheet area. Um, you have your column headers, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you have your um, row headers, which are which are numerical. And now, obviously, your uh, cells are named the correspond the uh, the coordinates of the cell is the cell name, so A one. Um, and then also you have each one of these sheets is has a tab. Uh, down here and which you can actually name different sheets. You can add as many sheets as you want to one re one project um, but you, can, um, you can name them by double clicking and it'll give you the option to name those sheets and you have scroll bars um, 
Now I just want to get a little bit more into this um, this uh, side toolbar because um, this is actually new and uh, this just allows you to quickly um, access a lot of the stuff that you can access from your uh, menu bar or your toolbar. So it's just a little bit nicer. Um, the first uh, tab of this bar is the properties bar, which I've already showed you. And it also has the styles and formatting bar. This is actually just for, you can save um, the formatting uh, from any cell in this. So if you change, if you change the, uh, you know, if you change the font, you change the font size, you can actually hit this little plus here. It says new style from selection. I have that cell selected. And then you can give it a name and you can save the styles that you did into this styles and formatting. So if you're doing formatting, you know, you do a lot of the same formatting on all kinds of different stuff. This makes it easier. You can just double click and auto format uh, those and you could save and retrieve them. Um, the next tab is going to be uh, your picture gallery. This gives you um, graphics that you can insert. Um, these are all just basic, basically like uh, picture art. Um, you can just drag and drop them and they'll go into your uh, workspace. Um, the next one is a navigator pane. This um, is actually... Um, just to make it easy to navigate between objects. So if you have a lot of stuff in here, if you have some graphs, you have some uh, data ranges that you've, you've saved, um, you can easily go through these. You can navigate the different sheets. You can see sheet one, two, and three as they are down here are there. And if I double click to sheet two, it just brings me to sheet two. This is just quick. This quickly navigates you to that to whatever thing you want to uh, edit. So if you have a lot of drawing objects, it will, it, it these would show up. Of course, I don't have in many things. I don't have anything on here, so I'm not going to have any graphics or comments or anything like that. But if you were to, you can easily navigate to them using this uh, this pane. The next pane is the functions pane. This is. Um, this allows you to do mathematical functions, um, and I believe, uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, download more functions or save functions in here, um, but the ones it comes with are max, average, sum, min, and if. So, like your average, if you wanted to find the average of a, of, of a cell range, um, you would just double click average on the cell you want the average to be in, and then it will let you select a range of cells to get the average of. Same thing with sum, min, max. Um, so if you're dealing with large data ranges, um, you can uh, easily, you know, just kind of do a kind of a drag and drop uh, uh, functions there. And it, it makes it really nice, especially for average and sum, which the sum is the equivalent of this, uh, of this auto sum button right here. It's no different. Um, it's just in a different place. And then, of course, minimum is going to find the, the minimum value. So if you've got 5, 10, 20, it'll show you that 5 is the minimum. Um, and then there's there's if statement, and it says down here, test, then value. Otherwise, value specifies a log logical test to be performed. Um, the if then is a little bit more tricky. That's, that's really for when you're doing macros, and um, that's going to be a, another video. So really all you need to know is that you know this is just some quick functions. Especially for average if you want if you want to use average. For the most part you'll just be using the properties page and your and your toolbar um unless you're doing anything um really really uh complicated. Um well I hope you found this video helpful. Um please like and subscribe.